Okay, well, we're going to make our first experiment here with uh, trying to fill our pinholes here on our this old horn. And uh, my first attempt, I'm just going to do it down here where it's real easy to get at. And I'm going to try it with some uh, JB Weld. This is uh, not actual JB Weld, but it's generic. This is Pro Seal brand. And uh, most of you are familiar with this kind of stuff, I'm sure. It's basically a resin kind of thing. And just squeeze out the quick weld, this is called. Which means the steel. We all know it's not really steel. Okay. And the hardener has stuck itself shut. squeeze it in prodding to get them to do what you wanted them to do sometimes. I don't suppose any of you ever had that problem. No, no, your children are perfect. Okay, that's about equal mark. And we'll just take an old screwdriver here. box. Something you can dispose because once you're done with this, you're done. Okay. Now, where this stuff stinks too. It never smells better the next time either. I don't have regular squeegee. Well, I do somewhere, but I don't know where it is at the moment. So I'm just using this. This is a divider out of one of my little uh, rubber toolboxes. Okay, okay. All right. Yeah, I know. I, I said I was just going to do the real easy part first. Yep, I know I said that. I did. Yep, I did. Yeah, you can see this, see the squeeze out on the inside. And that's okay, because uh, we actually want it to build up in there a little bit. I can wipe the excess off like that. That's good. That's a good thing. Alright, so we're going to let that dry and we'll come back and sand it. Yeah, boy, I can see pinholes way down in here. I didn't see those before. There's pinholes all in this bottom section. That's what I was holding it up to the light for, I thought. I saw some black spots there. I'm going to get down on those, dip, those crimps. Okay, so we'll 
Let that dry and we'll sand it. See how it comes out.